Alice accidentally got burned while curling her hair. At this moment, the teapot next to her suddenly shook. Seeing that, she was surprised so she immediately opened the teapot. There were two $100 bills appearing inside the teapot. Looking at the curling iron, Alice suddenly had an idea. After that, she heard herself again. This time, $700 appeared in the teapot. Alice suddenly had an idea. She kicked her feet on the table and screamed in pain. So the money appeared in the teapot again. Seeing that, she happily continued to hurt herself. After that, she even punched the kitchen cabinet very hard. This was John. He was fired for his unproductive work so he went home depressed. When entering the house, he was very surprised. He found the house very chaotic, as if a thief had just broken in. So he rushed to find Alice. He saw her holding a teapot and lying on the bed. Her whole body was covered with wounds. He walked over and graciously asked Alice what happened. Alice didn't say anything and took him into the living room. And then she slapped him in the face. After that, she took the money out of the teapot. Seeing that, John was extremely shocked. She said, this teapot has magic. When you hurt yourself, money will appear. But John didn't believe it. He thought that she had put money in the teapot before. After that, Alice kicked John hard. This time, money kept falling from the teapot. After John's wound got a little better. He felt a bit worried and advised Alice not to continue. But she thought it was a gift from God, and she wanted to make the most of this opportunity. At this time, when Alice woke up and found that John and the teapot disappeared. There was only a note left on the bed, this is over. John wanted to return the magic teapot to its owner. But the antique shop was closed. So he took the teapot to participate in a treasure appraisal program. Experts had also been mesmerized by this teapot. They had priced it at least $5,000. Then John returned home because he didn't accept that price. He and Alice came up with a plan to take $100,000 from the teapot. And then everything would stop immediately. Alice also agreed. Therefore, both of them started to hurt themselves by the gas stove. Then they used self-injury methods like Brazilian body waxing. Tooth extraction without anesthesia, tattoo. Not long after that, they made $20,000. While they were counting money, suddenly there was a knock on the door. Alice hastily hid the teapot. When John just opened the door, he saw two strange people with beards. Suddenly, they punched John to the ground. They rushed into the room and asked for information about the teapot. So they continued to beat John until he pointed out where the teapot was hidden. They said the teapot was a relic of their grandmother. Alice was very scared so she took some money and gave it to those two strangers. And she said that the teapot was sold. So those two had to take the money and leave. However, John and Alice were still not satisfied with the current money. So they continued to hurt themselves more. When they had a lot of money, they bought a new house and lived like rich people. The two of them lived in the rich area. They even invited all the neighbors to their house for a party. At this time, there was a doctor named Lee who found them to ask about the teapot. He warned them that they were in a very dangerous situation. But Alice only thought of him as a lunatic. And then she brutally chased him away. However, when the night came, the two bearded guys came to steal the money. They saw the teapot in Alice's hand, but were not surprised. It turned out they knew that Alice had hidden this teapot. Because they also knew that the teapot was a bad omen. They didn't want to take the teapot, but just took the money from it. But Alice didn't want to have all her money taken so she fought against these two men. Then the teapot fell to the ground. The bearded man picked up the teapot, but was immediately stopped by the other. They just quickly took the money and left. To find out the origin of the teapot. John and Alice came to find Dr. Lee. This doctor said this teapot had been around for 2000 years. But it was taken advantage of by the bad guys and caused a big disaster. The owner of this teapot had not to have evil thoughts. Otherwise they would be mesmerized by the teapot. The doctor convinced John to give him the teapot. He told them that he would hide the teapot in a place no one would know. But Alice thought that she and John were good people. So both of them wouldn't be controlled by the teapot. They refused the doctor's offer. After that, they continued to injure themselves. But on the contrary, the teapot gave them less and less money. In order to continue living in luxury, they had to endure more pain. After that, they even intentionally caused a fight in the bar. So they were beaten until their faces were bruised and swollen. Meanwhile, Alice was still worried. She wanted this teapot to bring them more money. At this moment, someone who was skateboarding passed by and fell. The teapot suddenly moved and gave out a lot of money. It turned out that other people's pain could also be exchanged for money. When knowing about this, Alice was very surprised. She quickly told John. So the two of them began to observe the pain of others everywhere. They went to watch boxing matches. Watched other people get tattoos. They even went to see a pregnant woman give birth. Thanks to that, the two of them had a lot of money. They drove to find other people's pain every day. 
While John thought they had a lot of money, Alice was still not satisfied. Suddenly she saw someone crossing the street. And she came up with a terrible idea. Alice stepped on the gas so that the car rushed towards the passerby. Seeing that, John grabbed the steering wheel so the car fortunately just grazed him. But Alice angrily said that man ran a red light, so he deserved to be hit by a car. After that, the two of them got into an argument. Alice was very angry, and got out of the car. But she almost got hit by a car too. After that, the teapot suddenly started spewing out $100 bills. However, Alice wasn't injured. So where did this money come from? Alice suddenly thought of something. She started mocking John. She said he didn't deserve her. After hearing those words, John was hurt. After that, Alice hurriedly opened the teapot, and there was a lot of money inside. It turned out that psychological pain also made the teapot spew out money. Alice then gave the teapot to John. She wanted John to try scolding her, but he didn't do that. However, he was finally convinced by Alice. He told her a secret that not long ago, he kissed another girl. Although Alice was very sad, she still managed to smile. She even gave the money in the teapot to John and said he did a great job. When getting home, they both told their secrets. They said things that hurt each other and had continuously attacked the enemy with the darkest secrets. The more they talked, the more money the teapot spewed out. Until Alice told John about her love story with her former landlord named Andy. Hearing that, John went crazy and ran to find Andy. But he couldn't do anything and was knocked down by Andy. Andy saw the teapot on the ground and there was a lot of money inside. Seeing that, Alice grabbed the teapot and left. Because of money, Alice and John decided to hurt others. They knocked on the neighbor's door and told him about his pet dog. It didn't get lost but was secretly buried by his wife. At this point, their money was already full of safes. But gradually the teapot spewed out less and less money. Although they continued to hurt each other a lot, the money was still less. After that, Alice had a more terrible idea. She said there were too many bad people in this world. So they immediately started digging holes to bury those bad people even while they were still alive. But while digging a hole, John suddenly realized that. They really were too cruel. Therefore, he persuaded Alice to stop, but she refused to listen. John noticed that Alice seemed to be going crazy. Then John went to the doctor and begged him to take the teapot back. But the doctor told him it was too late. Only the owner of the teapot voluntarily handed it over. And then its influence on the owner could just disappear. However, Alice didn't want to voluntarily hand over the teapot. When Alice saw John sitting by the window and holding a teapot, she was so scared. John sat on the edge of the window and asked her to choose one of two. Alice was afraid that John would jump down, so she decided to lie to him that she chose him. But her eyes were still staring at the teapot. John knew she was lying so he immediately jumped down. The teapot also fell to the ground and spewed out countless amounts of money. Fortunately, John only jumped from the second floor, so he wasn't seriously injured. Alice was very frightened by John's actions. She reconsidered and said she would give the teapot to Dr. Lee. At night, while they were sleeping, the alarm bell suddenly rang and they discovered the teapot was stolen. It turned out Andy took away the teapot. In order to prevent the teapot from harming people, they decided to take it back. They went to Andy's house. Unexpectedly, Andy and his girlfriend were completely mesmerized by the teapot. They started torturing John and Alice. They were willing to exchange other people's pain for money. At this moment, the two bearded men rushed in and fired one shot at Andy. Meanwhile, John and Alice hid behind the sofa. After hearing no more noises, they slowly crawled out to see. The four of them were already lying down, only money was scattered everywhere. After that, John and Alice handed the teapot back to Dr. Lee. They also gave money to the poor. They then drove their old car away. At the end of the movie, the doctor threw the teapot into the sea. It brought both the sins and the desire to sink into the sea. The movie The Brass Teapot wasn't a simple fantasy story. It wanted to tell us the truth that human desires were endless. If your ambition wasn't within the allowable limits, you would have to suffer unpredictable consequences. If people couldn't control their desires, they would eventually become its slaves.